First look at Lineage OS 18 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Lineage OS 18 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note, this is an unofficial build. And the other important thing I would like to mention is that when you flash this build, your TWRP recovery will be replaced with stock Lineage OS recovery. So I do recommend that you flash Magisk before rebooting your system. As you can see, the security patch is from November 5th, 2020. The kernel they are using is perf kernel and do note that custom kernels are not supported on this build and SE Linux of course is set as enforcing. Next up, as you can see on your screen, Bubbles does work absolutely fine and you do have the Android 11 Easter egg cats game also working like a boss. Do note that certain applications like WhatsApp do not support Bubbles right now. Next up, Safety net will not pass out of the box and even if you enable Magisk hide, even then safety net will not pass. So what you need to do is install the Magisk module which is linked in the description of this video, which is your fingerprint from the November build of Pixel 3 XL. And once you do that, safety net is going to pass without any issues, which means you should be able to use your banking apps. Now the build does not come with Google Apps baked in and me personally, I am using the stock version of Nix Google Apps, which are again linked in the description of this video. So I do have Pixel Launcher out of the box. And as you can see, the select feature works absolutely fine with no issues to report. Screenshot works absolutely fine. Tap on share, quick share menu in the building and press and hold on any application and then you can pin the application and as you can see gmail is now the first application in my quick share menu as for the volume panel this is how your volume panel looks like you do have the expanded volume panel as well so you can configure your alarm volume your music volume and your ringtone volume along with the button on the top to toggle between the various ringer modes and the button on the bottom which you see here is to enable or disable live caption next up you can see that we do have our google feed as well no jitters no lags everything is super fast and super smooth on this build so far here it is recents also work like a boss switching between the applications also works so all your gestures and animations are working absolutely fine Next up, we can have a look at your quick settings panel. So these are the different tile options which we have with this build. You do have screen recorder, screen cast, the caffeine tile is there, ambient display tile, dark theme tile, volume panel, inverting the colors, hotspot, and you also have the brightness slider on the top as well. Tap on edit and here are the other tiles which you can add in case you want to. Now, unfortunately, you cannot configure the rows and columns of quick setting tiles in the launcher on this build. We can also check out the screen recorder. So yes, Android 11 does come with a screen recorder baked in, which lets you record device audio and microphone at the same time. And in certain ROMs, there's a lag when you start doing that. But in this build, no lags, no jitters in the system UI when you start the inbuilt screen recorder of Android 11. And before I forget, you do have the blur and zoom effect working absolutely fine when you access your quick settings panel. And yes, you do have notification history as well. So here it is. You of course have to enable it from apps and notifications. Next up, we can head over to the different customizations. So in network and internet, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi works absolutely fine. And you also have the option to disconnect in the center. Tap on advanced and you can choose to auto connect on a per Wi-Fi basis as well. Moving over to apps and notification, see all apps. Let us try the Chrome application, go into permissions, go into camera, three different options. And you also have a toggle to remove the permissions of an application if it is not used for some time. Now, unfortunately on this build, you do not have the option of restricting data on say, Wi-Fi only or restricting mobile data. Those options are not present right now. And I think Lineage OS calls it as network isolation. 
on the home page of apps and notifications priority conversations is there bubbles and notification history work absolutely fine you do have to enable notification history and if you scroll down on the notifications page tap on advanced you can also configure the notification light do note that on the poco f1 the notification light is white only so you won't get the rgb effects next up in battery you do have thermal profiles baked in and here are the different options which you have which can be chosen on a per app basis other than that in battery you do have the option of battery light and you can also configure your extreme power saver mode in case you want to last full charge and screen usage since last full charge do note that i've been using this build for a few hours and i haven't noticed any excessive battery drain moving over to display you do have the option of dark theme you can always configure it to turn on and off at a custom time something which google added with android 11 and you also have a toggle for pure black dark theme as well other than that you also have adaptive brightness and yes live display is there so you can choose your color profile three different options dynamic standard and srgb then you can also calibrate your rgbs using the sliders over here and as you can see they do work absolutely fine in case you want to reset tap on reset bam there it is you can also configure the hue saturation intensity and contrast using the sliders here and as you can see everything does work absolutely fine and of course you have the option of reset for your picture adjustment as well moving over to styles and wallpapers you can change your wallpaper using the wallpaper option go into style you can create custom styles so these are the different font options which you have tap on next these are the different icon options which you have your accent colors these are the different options which you have for the accent colors let us choose orange then for the icon shapes these are the different icon shape options which are available let us choose the teardrop option tap on next you can give it a name tap on apply and bam there it is you can see that the theme which we just created was applied successfully orange accent colors with the teardrop icon shapes and before i forget you also have the option of this small down arrow besides some of these options in your quick setting tiles so if you tap on the down arrow it is going to let you go into more settings which is going to open the wi-fi settings directly so that i think is a pretty nifty feature as well then you can configure your screen timeout screen attention is there configure the font size display size full screen applications what all content you want to see on the lock screen now now playing is broken on this build right now and that is across all aosp roms then you have ambient display so you do have pickup and hand wave all these options are working absolutely fine you also have double tap to wake as you can see it is enabled we can turn off the display double tap bam working like a boss you also have prevent accidental pickup double tap on the status bar to sleep give it one more try there it is working like a boss no issues to report also have a toggle for wake on plug next up you have sound so in sound you have the toggle to link and delink the ring and notification volumes in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that and then you can configure your start volume and the ramp up time using the sliders below tap on advanced scroll down and you also have direct sound enhancer baked in moving over to security you have the option of pin password and fingerprint unfortunately face unlock is not present on this build going over to system let's go into buttons as you can see you have the toggle to invert the layout in case you're using the three button navigation system you have the option of edge long swipe now the option is there but i can never get it to work because it always goes back then you have customization for the power button so use the power button to end the call long press for torch here it is screen is off long press bam torch in the building long press one more time torch is now turned off then you have the option to configure if you want to automatically turn the torch off after some time these are the different options which you have for that then you can use the volume buttons to wake a device answer a call control playback with the screen off for keyboard cursor controls in case you want to 
reorient the volume buttons when the screen is rotated you have a toggle for that as well and if you want to see the volume panel on the left you have a toggle for that as well going into system profiles this is something which will let you set up say a work profile and a home profile so as soon as you're at your work you want the wi-fi to turn off or say bluetooth to turn on you can configure all those things in system profiles customization for status bar is there quick pull down so right now i have set it as left swipe down from the left quick settings panel is expanded swipe down from the right it is not expanded then what all icons you want to see in the status bar you have toggles for all these different options where do you want to see the clock left or right do you want to see the seconds or not do you want to see am pm or not then you have battery indicator customization three different options icon portrait circle and text if you want to see the brightness slider in your quick settings panel you have three different options for that auto brightness toggle for your quick settings as well and brightness control by sliding across the status bar next up we have gestures so in gestures you do have three different options old school three button navigation style android 9.0 pi two button gestures or the full screen gestures go into settings you also have the option to hide the ugly bar at the bottom as you can see once i disable this toggle the bar is hidden if i enable it the bar comes back and then you can also configure your back sensitivity on a per edge basis going into developer options you do have the option of wireless debugging which is the one right here then in case you want to see the refresh rate you have a toggle for that as well as you can see on the top left of the screen the refresh rate appears and disappears those of you who do not like the notch you have to use the display cutout option in developer options to hide the notch in case you want to do so and as you can see it does work absolutely fine next up we can check for youtube media playback so let me play a clip from one of my favorite movies here it is a clip from the movie matrix as you can see there are no playback issues however pinch to zoom is broken on this build as you can see it does not make any difference even though i get the notification other than that we can also check for picture in picture mode so there it is you can see picture in picture works absolutely fine with no issues to report at all you can also check for live caption once they say something and you should see the live caption appear there it is you can see live caption does work absolutely fine on this build next up we can check for your media controls in your status bar or the quick settings panel so let me open a music application and play a piece of music which i have on my device here it is let us play this and bam there it is you can see that i do have the controls in my quick settings panel working absolutely fine now the build does mention that bluetooth works absolutely fine however for me i tried two different bluetooth devices and none of them were able to connect to the device even after multiple restarts of both the speaker and the phone itself other than that you do have google assistant working absolutely fine but do note that the ok google hot word is broken as of now in terms of animations you can see everything is pretty smooth there are no issues no jitters no lags here is the recent panel working absolutely fine smooth as butter as they would call it we can also open the chrome browser and check for any freezing or anything like that in the chrome browser here it is a wikipedia page no issues to report at all there it is you can see everything is super fast and super smooth so all in all a pretty good build for an initial build of lineage os 18 for the poco f1 and of course lineage os fans would definitely want to try this build out and there it is peeps that was our first look at lineage os 18 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you